guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to mod textures or tail light textures in Need for Speed Heat more in depth the texture asset we're going to work with today mainly is the emission one and I'll explain how it works when you press the A button here that stands for alpha alpha channel you will see the green and red and blue channels the green one is the main light the red one are blinkers and blue are the reverse and black translate as breaking to make your custom texture work the proper way I rec recommend you to make your design in the green and black so it'd be easy to work work with in Photoshop and to be able to implement this in Photoshop firstly you got to install the Intel Texture Works plugin you will just google it and press download button then press download ZIB and install it in the Photoshop files then you will open your DDS base design and place it and make sure to press low transparency as alpha channel hit OK you'll see here automatically applied the alpha channels and here you'll see the RGB if you press that you'll see the brake lights it appears there after that you'll go to file go to open hit blinkers ok again low transparency press ok control A control C go to red place your blinkers there and you'll see it there file open reverse low transparency control control C go to the blue and here we have it all the channels are properly set go to save as name it final again so I can show you the settings that you should save in colors plus alpha then compression here BC7 sRGB okay don't don't uh, generate MIP maps cause that sometimes it's gonna make some bugs click OK go to Frosty Editor import press here DDS here is it load it and you have it there now let's launch to the game OK uh, here is after loading the game now we'll test our textures it's working and let's try breaking it works I'm trying the blinkers they do also work reverse breaking it's all working but as you notice there's something wrong about it. as you notice here yeah it feels kind of buggy but actually it isn't it's the tail lights glass that is red and we'll show you how to turn it clear and we'll change the light emissions colors also before changing the light properties or emission properties 
I got a note that you should change the design, the normal map, the bump map, and the set excel emissions because these can make some contradictions or some stuff that you wouldn't like to see especially the ZXOE there so I want to just throw a plain black texture for the material map we'll do the same and let's hope this works for the pump map and the normal map I haven't tried this before uh, if you want to know make your own normal and bump map there is a lot of videos on youtube that explain how to make it and it's a pretty controversial thing there's nothing special about it in need for speed this video mainly was for the emission emissions and their channels so to change the light properties you go to the Vehicles Blair, then the Honda NSX customization. It will go to the tail light set XL and the set C. You'll go to we're going to type materials there. Click there. We'll change the light properties from there this is the glass for the set excel shaders vector parameters make it one one and one this should make it a hundred percent clear if you want it to be a little bit smoke you can make it 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.1 zero is completely black We'll leave this headlight color headlight color is this small square there this is named headlight for whatever reason we'll make it also one orange glass also set it to one to make it a hundred percent clear set Excel, same thing, materials, you go to the light, shader, vector parameters, and here you're going to change the light emission colors. I actually recommend you that if you want to change intensity, you just increase the numbers there. You can go all the way to whatever number you want, a hundred thousand, but today I'm going to work with single numbers. Uh, I'm going to make the main light white, so I'm going to set the X, Y, Z to all one, X for red, Y for green, and Z for blue, as you can see. Here's the brake color. I'm gonna make the brake color. I'm gonna set it here to one, zero, and one to give us purple. Blinkers. I'm gonna make them sign. Here are there. Zero, one, and one this for now looks easy but it actually isn't now you gotta click the reference and go to mesh variation and thankfully both set c and set excel are in the same mesh variation okay uh turns out that turns out that the meshes are not connected with each other you got to change the mesh variation also for the set C so go to set C go to reference mesh variation 
and do all the stuff that I made for said Excel and search for the parameters you need to change in order to make the clear glass and change the colors. I will do all that stuff again and we'll launch the game and see it ourselves. We'll type the material and it kind of gets confusing because it will change a lot of textures right here. I click, you just keep clicking and it will change all the parameters that is that you've changed in the material properties because if you didn't it wouldn't show in your free room it'll just show in the garage and you didn't need, you don't need that you want to actually use it and play the game with it so nothing here it will just keep searching because I can't give you a certain way to do it it's not labeled there we'll just keep searching that's the way I do it and here found some Now let's launch it and let's hope this works. Okay, after several times of trying, I finally managed to make it. Breaks with purple, main lights is white, and hopefully the blinkers will be signed. Yep, they work. I just it happens that I missed to make the set C values or set XO. I, I actually, yeah, it's pretty messy. You gotta make sure all the values are there, are changed, and this is how you make it. This will be a little bit of a messy video but here is it <laughs> 